Hi everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet summer blouse like this. Also I will give you instruction how to do any size. For this project I used 100% cotton yarn. It's cotton slim 170 meters in 50 grams and I used 3 millimeters hook but foundation chains I did with 4 millimeters hook. And for this size I needed about 350 grams of this yarn. First we need to do one long rectangle working rows back and forth. Then we will do back side and then front side and then one long rectangle again. Then we will join together front and back side. First we need to define size we want to do. My length is about 75 centimeters and width is about 57 centimeters. And now you can define your size. This bottom side is about 5 centimeters. That means that this part is about 70 centimeters. But since we do together front and back side, length of my first rectangle should be 140 centimeters. And using this sample you can define dimension of your first rectangle. My width is about 57 centimeters. So take your number of width and minus 3, then you will got some number, I got 54. Then take this number and divide it by 4 and you will got width of your first rectangle. Width of my rectangle is about 13.5 centimeters. This number can be bigger, but it cannot be smaller. First, we are going to do foundation chains. And for this project, I will use 3 mm hook, but for foundation chains, I will use 4 mm hook. My foundation chains should be 140 centimeters, but I will make it longer, about 160. And when we will complete first round, then we will define how long should be our chains. We start with slip knot, and it is not count as chain. And now we do one, two, three, four, five, and continue to chaining until you have length you need plus about 20 centimeters. See you on beginning of first round. My chains should be 140 centimeters, but I made about 160. And then we will just cut surplus. We start round one and now I will continue with three millimeters hook. Do chain six, one, this is last chain which we did with larger hook, then two, three, four, five and six. Yarn over, skip these six chains go into seventh and do double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, skip one free chain, go into next and do double crochet. Chain one, 
yarn over, skip one chain, go to next and do double crochet. Chain one, skip one and double crochet. Repeat this until you get a length you need. My length should be 140 centimeters. See you on the end of this round. I made 140 centimeters. It looks like this. Now cut these circles of these foundation chains, leave about 5 chains on this side. This is chain where it's double crochet and leave one more chain, make it tight. And now we start round two. Do chain four. Turn your work. Yarn over, go into second double crochet and do double crochet. Chain one, go into next double crochet and do double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Repeat this until you reach to the end of the round. Into every double crochet, do double crochet and chain one between. I come to the end of round two. Into this last double crochet, do double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, skip one chain, go into next and do last double crochet in this round. Round three, start with chain four, then turn your work, yarn over, Go into second double crochet and do double crochet. Then chain one, double crochet. I will make nine rounds like this and you can do more or less if you need it. See you on the end of round nine. I completed round nine and I got width about 9 centimeters. I will start round 10 with chain 2, then turn your work and in this round we are going to do half double crochets. Yarn over, go into this first double crochet and do one half double crochet. So pull through all three loops on the hook Yarn over, go into this chain one space and pull through all three loops. Yarn over, 
go into this double crochet and do half double crochet again. Into chain one space, do half double crochet and continue to do one half double crochet on double crochet and one half double crochet on chain one space. See you on the end of this round. I come to the end of round 10, yarn over under this chain 4 space, do one more half double crochet, yarn over, now go into third chain and here we do last half double crochet. Round 10 is done and in round 11 we will start with stars. So do chain 3, turn your work, skip this third chain, go into second, grab the yarn and pull through go into next chain, grab the yarn and pull through. Now go into first half double crochet, grab the yarn, pull through, then go into second half double crochet, grab the yarn and pull through and then go into third half double crochet, grab the yarn and pull through. We have six loops on the hook, grab the yarn and pull through all six loops on the hook. Then do chain one and this is first star. Now under this chain we have this eye Go into this eye, grab the yarn and pull through. Now we have these six loops. Go into this last loop, grab the yarn and pull through. Now go into this stitch which we use in previous star. Grab the yarn and pull through. Then go into next free stitch, grab the yarn and pull through and then again into next free stitch, grab the yarn and pull through. We have six loops on the hook again, grab the yarn and pull through all six loops. Then do chain one and this was second star. Now repeat, go into this eye, grab the yarn, pull through, go into last loop of six, grab the yarn, pull through, go into this stitch which we share with previous star, grab the yarn, pull through, then go into next free stitch, grab the yarn, pull through and into next free stitch again, grab the yarn and pull through. We have six loops on the hook, pull through all six loops, then do chain one and then repeat one, two, three, four, five, we have six loops, pull through all six loops and do chain one. Repeat this until you reach to the end of this round and see you there. This is the end of round 11. And 
I'm going to do last star. Pull through one, two, three, four, five, then pull through all six loops, do chain one, and now do one half double crochet into this last stitch. Round 11 is done. And now we start round 12 by making chain 2. Turn your work. And now we are going to do 2 half double crochets into every of this eye. We have these 6 loops and in the middle we have this eye. And here we do 2 half double crochets. Yarn over, go into first eye and do 2 half double crochets. First and in the same place second. Yarn over, go into next eye and do 2 half double crochets. First and in the same place second. 2 half double crochets into next tie and continue repeat this until you reach to the end of round. And see you there. This is end of round 12 and into last eye we do 2 half double crochets first and second and into this last stitch we do last half double crochet. Now we completed round 12. And we start round 13 by making chain 2, turn your work, this is front side, yarn over, go into first stitch and do half double crochet, into next stitch do half double crochet, so this round is very simple because we do half double crochets into every stitch. Continue to do half double crochets and see you on the end of this round. This is end of round 13. It looks like this now. Round 14, start by making chain 4. Turn your work. Yarn over. Into this first stitch we have this chain 4. So we will skip this first stitch and skip one more stitch, go into third and do double crochet. Then chain one, skip one stitch, go into next and do double crochet. Chain one, skip one and do double crochet. Now we are going to do the same rows as on this part. And I will make 3 rows with these small squares. So this is row 14 and I will make row 15 and 
16 also will be small squares. And I will meet you on the end of round 16. I made round 16. It looks like this. Now we need to find a middle. My middle is on the place where is my red marker. This red marker should be on this side where we have this three square rows and not here. Start from here and match each square When you find a middle, mark it. I suggest you to use the same color markers as I. My rectangle have about 15 centimeters. And now we are going to do neck hole. This is the middle and my neck hole should be about 15 centimeters. This purple marker is place for neck hole on the front. But on the neck hole we'll do a few rows more so here we will make this neck hole bigger. Skip two double crochets and put pink marker on third double crochet. We will mark and neck hole on back side. This is middle and put yellow marker about four centimeters from the middle. We are going to do double crochets on this side and on this part between yellow and pink markers we do nothing. Round 16 is completed. My working yarn is on this side where is yellow marker, so it is back side and I will continue now with back side. Next rows is the same as previous. Here we are going to do these little squares. And I will meet you on the place where is yellow marker. I come to the stitch before yellow marker. I made chain one. Now yarn over, go into market stitch Start to do double crochet, but do not complete it. Yarn over. Go into next double crochet and start to do double crochet, but do not complete it. Now we have two uncompleted double crochets. And now pull through all three loops on the hook. We start round 18 by making chain 4, then turn your work, yarn over, go into next double crochet and do double crochet, then chain 1 and repeat this. And now do one row back and forth and see you on this place again. This is end of round 19. Into last double crochet, we do double crochet. Then chain one. And now we have this chain four space. Yarn over, skip one chain, go into next and do double crochet. 
This is the end of round 19. And next we are going to do these four rows with stars. Round 20 is the same as round 10. Then repeat round 11, 12 and 13. So start with chain 2, turn your work, yarn over, into first double crochet, do half double crochet, into chain 1 space, do half double crochet, into double crochet, do half double crochet, and do half double crochets until you reach to the end of this round. Round 21, 22, 23 and 24 you do by yourself because they are the same as these rounds down. Between these rows with stars I have 6 rows with squares. Important thing is that number of rows between stars is even number. I have 6 and you can have 4 or 8 or any even number. See you on the end when you complete these rows with stars. I come to the end of round 24. Round 24 is the same as round 14. 23 is the same as 13. 22 is the same as 12, 21 is the same as 11, and 20 is the same as 10. Round 24 I completed on the bottom. And now we start round 25 and we do little squares again. Start with chain 4, yarn over, do double crochet, chain 1, double crochet, chain 1, and continue until the end of this round. See you there! This is the end of round 25, yarn over, skip one chain and into next do double crochet and now we are going to do rows with the stars again. So we will repeat row 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 again. Round 26, start with chain 2, Turn your work, yarn over, into first double crochet, do half double crochet, into chain 1, do half double crochet, into double crochet, do double crochet, so repeat rows 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 and see you when you complete rows with star section. I completed third star section. This is neck hole. Length I got is about 25 centimeters long. Now I'm going to do two rows with squares and it will be about 27 centimeters. So there will be a middle of my blouse. And then I will repeat all what I did before. Two more square rows. So next what I'm going to do is four square rows. But here you can do more or less rows if you need it. Just make sure that number of rows is even number. See you when you made number rows you need. 
I made four rounds. This is my middle of the blouse. And now we are going to do star section. And then two rounds with squares. And then star section again. And see you when you repeat these two star sections on this side. I completed two stars sections and I did two more rows with squares. Here is a middle. Both these sides should be the same. Our working yarn is on the neck hole section. On this first side here we did degrees, but on this side we are going to do increase. This is end of round 45. On last double crochet I did double crochet and chain, yarn over, go into third chain and do double crochet. And now do chain one and one more double crochet into the same chain space. We completed this back side, do chain one and then you can cut the yarn. Next we are going to do front side. Red marker is a middle. Here we have purple and pink marker. We are going to start on place where is purple marker and then we will do the grease until pink marker. Do slip knot. Go into double crochet, mark it with purple marker, grab the yarn, pull through and do single crochet. Then do chain two, yarn over, go into next stitch and do double crochet. Chain one, into next double crochet, do double crochet, chain one, And repeat this until end of the round and then come back working squares again and see you on this place again. I did rows back and forth. This is my round 18 on front side. I come to the place where is pink marker. Here is purple. I have three two double crochets and this chain two space. Now we will turn these two double crochets into one. Do chain one, yarn over, go into this first double crochet, start to do double crochet but do not complete it, yarn over, go into second double crochet, start to do double crochet again, and then pull through all three loops on the hook. Round 19 start by making just chain 3, not chain 4 as usually. Then turn your work, yarn over, go into this double crochet. We have these two double crochets together, but we are going into this next. 
This is on the line where we have pink marker. Go there and do double crochet. Then chain one. And then we do as usually one double crochet and chain until we get to the end of round 19. We completed with the greases and we have six square rounds. On this side I also have six square rounds between stars. And if your number rounds is different, then you follow your sample. I will complete this round 19 and see you on the end. I completed round 19 on the front and now we are going to do star section. Do chain 2, turn your work, yarn over, go into first double crochet and do half double crochet, into chain 1 space do half double crochet, And do half double crochets until end of the round. I come to the end of round 20 on the front side. On chain one space do half double crochet and one more half double crochet into last double crochet. This is chain 3 space. Our last half double crochet is on the line where we have pink marker. In round 21 we are going to do the stars. Do chain 3, turn your work, skip last chain, go into next and pull through. Then go into next chain and pull through. Go into first half double crochet and pull through. Then into second half double crochet, pull through. And into third half double crochet and pull through. Then pull through all six loops and do chain one. Do the stars until you get to the end of the round. This is how it looks like now. This is neck hole. And now we started star section, which is match with this section on the back side. Then I'm going to do two square rounds. Then star section. Then four square rounds. This is a middle, then star section, two squares rounds, star section, and see you on the end of the last star section before place where we will do increase. So repeat all what you did on back side and when you finish see you there. I come to the place where we will do increase. This is the middle and these two sides should to match. I did an one round with squares, but I didn't complete it. On this side we did the grease. Then 
but on this side here we are going to do increase. So do chain one into last stitch, do double crochet, then chain one, yarn over, go into the same stitch and do one more double crochet. Round 44 is done. And now we start round 45 by making chain 4, turn your work, yarn over and now we are not going as usually into second double crochet but we are going into first double crochet and here do double crochet then chain one yarn over go into next double crochet and do double crochet chain one into next double crochet, do double crochet, and repeat this until end of this round, and then come back and see you on this place again. I made row back and forth, now I have three squares rounds, do chain one, go into this last double crochet and do double crochet then chain one yarn over now go into third chain and do double crochet then chain one and then go into the same chain space and do one more double crochet. We completed increases and also we completed the front part. Next what we need to do is join together front and back side. We need to do chains on this place here. On this side we need to count number of stitches between purple and yellow marker. We completed the grease on place where is purple marker and this stitch we also have on other side so we will not count it. And on other side the grease is completed on double crochet next to yellow marker so this stitch we also have on other side now we will count these stitches this double crochet next to yellow marker is not count but this chain one is first, second, third, fourth This is 34, 35, 36 and this chain is 37. So I need to do 37 chains to join together these two sides. And you do number of chains you need. But it should be odd number. For chains I will use 4 mm hook again, so I'm going to do chain 37, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स This is thirty-seven, and now I will continue with three millimeters hook again, and I will continue to do this back side. On front side, I have three square rows, and on back side, I have just two square rows. So this will be my third row. Now we do second long rectangle. And we are going to join together these chains and back side. Go into first double crochet and do double crochet. Then chain one. Go into second double crochet and do double crochet. Chain one. Then double crochet. And repeat this to the end of the round, and then come back working squares again, and see you on this place again. I made rows back and forth. Here I have four square rows. I come to the stitch before chains, then chain one, do double crochet. Into last double crochet, chain one, skip one chain, go into next, and do double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain. Into next, do double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, and repeat this until the end of chains. On this chain space, I did seventeen double crochets, then chain one. I'm going into first double crochet on this side, and here we do double crochet, chain one, into next double crochet, do double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And continue with this until you reach to the end. Here we have three square rows, and this will be fourth. I should to have six square rows here, so see you on the end of row six. Now we do second long rectangle, so we do long rows again. I made six square rows. This is neck hole, and now we repeat star section on this side, and I have nine square rows on this side, so I will also repeat it on this side. Now do star section and square section. And see you when you complete square rows. I completed basic of the blouse, and it looks like this. Next, what we do is arm hole. I made one side, and another side we will do together. It looks like this. 
stars are on the edge here we will sew front and back side red marker is on the top and yellow markers is on the bottom of the arm hole. Now I'm going to work other side. Find the middle on the top where we will put a red marker match each square and find a middle this is my middle and we will put here a red marker now you need to define how big your arm hole should be on other side I have 24 squares between red and yellow markers. This is 24th. Also I will mark 24th on other side. My arm hole is about 22 centimeters long. And now one important thing. We are going to do half double crochets in this round, but we will do it on inner side. This is outside. And this is inner side. inner side looks like this do slip knot go into third chain and do single crochet and then chain one yarn over go into the same stitch and do one half double crochet then go into chain one space and do half double crochet into double crochet do double crochet into chain one space do half double crochet again and repeat this until you reach to the end of this round You should to pass these three markers and see you on the end on this place. I completed this row and it goes from the beginning to the end. Next row we will start here. We will pass through yellow marker and we will pass through red marker and then we will stop on this second yellow marker on this place where is arm hole we will do four degrees and that four places i will mark with purple markers This is double crochet, where is yellow marker, first, second, third, and fourth double crochet marked with purple marker. 
go and place where we have a red marker. Mark fourth double crochet on one side. And fourth double crochet on other side. Now go on second yellow marker and then come back four stitches and mark this fourth double crochet. So next row we will work until this marker and then we will come back. Last row I completed like this. Now do chain three. Turn your work. This is outside. And now we are going to do the stars. So skip one chain, go into next and pull through. Go to next chain, pull through. Go into first half double crochet and pull through. Into next stitch, pull through. And into next stitch, pull through. We have six loops on the hook. Pull through all six loops. Then do chain one. And again, one, two, three, four, five, we have six loops, pull through all six and do chain one. Then repeat this until you reach to the first purple marker. See you on this place. I passed through first yellow marker and I come to stitch before first purple marker. Here we are going to do first degrees. Start as usually, go into this eye, pull through, it is one, this is two, three, four, Five, and this is sixth. Now we have seven loops on the hook. In this case we pull yarn six times and we should to have seven loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through all seven loops. Do chain one and we did our first degrees. So on the same way we will do the greases on every place marked with purple marker. Now we continue as we did before. Pull through one, two, three, four, five and then pull through all six loops. Do chain one. Continue to do the stars until next purple marker. See you there. I come to the stitch before purple marker and here we do the grease again. So pull one, two, three, four, five and six. We have seven loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through all seven loops. Do chain one. And now do normal stars until this market place. On purple marker do the grease again on the same way 
and see you on last purple marker. I come to the last purple marker. Here I'm going to do one more degrees. So pull through one, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull through all seven loops, then do chain one. And now we continue with regular stars until yellow marker. This is first star. Second. And third. And now we are going to do one half double crochet into next stitch. We completed this row. We start next row by making chain one, then turn your work. Yarn over, go into this eye, we have these six loops, go in the middle and do half double crochet. Then into the same stitch, do second half double crochet. Into next eye, do two half double crochets. And continue to do two half double crochets into every eye until you reach to the end of this round. See you on this place. This is the end of round. Into last eye, do two half double crochets. And then into this chain one space, do last half double crochet. Then do chain one, make it tight. And now it looks like this. We did three rows on this side until second yellow marker. And after second yellow marker, we did just one row. And now we will sew these two sides with a needle. We will start on the bottom. Leave this yarn long enough, about one meter. and then cut it. Pull it through. Now we are going to sew it but we will sew it on outside. It is very important. We have these first loops. Then we have these loops in the middle. And we have these loops on the back side. On this side, we also have three rows of loops. We are going into this middle loop. We 
then go into middle loop on other side and pull through. Then go into next pair, use again middle loops Then next pair, This is how it looks like. Continue to sew it until you reach to the yellow markers. And see you there. I come to the yellow markers. There is no any more half double crochets but the star and we will do three stitches here. This last stitch we will do stronger so pull it through a few times. And then do the knot. And you can cut the yarn. I completed this side. This is how it looks like. This is the bottom of the armhole and now do the same thing on other side. And next we should to do is border on the neck hole and on the bottom. And this we will do in part 2. Link for the part 2 is in the right top screen. Click on I in the corner and you will got the link. And also you have link for part 2 in description box below. So see you in part two.